you guys. Um, I'm here with you today. Um, I'm going to show you how to take care of a crayfish. The, cray the species of crayfish I have right now is a marbled crayfish. Um, I have I have three of them in a ten gallon tank. It's a bit small for them, um, but I'll, I'm gonna upgrade the tank. So I would recommend five to ten gallons of water per crayfish and you can't you can't keep multiple ones in the same tank as long as they're the same species if it's a different species they'll all kill each other um these crayfish they, they like eating shrimp pellets they'll really eat about anything since they're sca scavengers they'll need long bubble walls and strong filtration since they need both oxygen and they they're very they're very dirty. They have a really large bio load. Their pH level should be at 7.0 or neutral. Um they are really fun to watch and interesting. And you don't, you also don't really need a bubble wall if you have something so they can get out the water, like a rock or something so they can breathe. They can only survive three to six hours without oxygen underwater. And they are escape artists, so give it a good hood or something since they're really good at escaping. I've had some of them escape. I've got them back, but they're really good. Believe me on that. Um, tank mates. Crayfish don't really do well with other tank mates, especially fish. If the fish too large, fish will eat it like cichlids. Do not put crayfish with cichlids. I will say the best tank mate is a small, fast moving fish. Um, what, what I'll recommend would, would be a rosy red minnow, which is what I usually keep, keep my crayfish with. But they'll eventually eat some of the minnows, but but just for a while, they will actually last some time with the crayfish. And crayfish are really, really fun pets. So remember, feed them shrimp pellets or or many other foods, life or live foods like rosy red minnows or guppies, goldfish. Um, give them plenty of hiding spots since they all, they're very territori territorial and They'll, they'll eventually start molting and when they do molt they're very vulnerable to and if you have an, any other crayfish or large fish you should take them out of the tank and put them in a separate tank while they molt and don't you don't really have to feed them when they're molting since they're gonna eat their old shell so they can regrow a new one and as I said, they're really, really fun, interesting pets to watch. They'll keep you entertained for a really long time. And, well, that's it, guys. Um, bye, subscribe, and thanks for watching.